Now another aspect of the overall push for improved farming practices is how we control pests. And Jane Drinkwater reports on the latest approach to pest control while looking after the environment. Australia's crop production systems are forever improving. A prime example is how we manage insect pests, where once broad spectrum, often highly toxic insecticides were used to blanket eradicate insects, there's a move towards a more holistic approach. And with good reason. Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, presents a win-win. Less damage to the environment and to your hip pocket. I love the environment and I want to um, look after the environment, but I have to make a living. IPM has given us the opportunity to do all of these things, both look after the environment and to make more money. IPM uses multiple strategies to manage insect pests. One of the tactics is to let an army of the insect's natural predators, or beneficials, fight the battle for you. And that means holding off on the use of broad-spectrum chemicals. I've probably learnt that nature has its way of handling things its own way. You just have to give those beneficials that time. And when you understand that when you are uh, using a broad-spectrum broad insecticide that you might control it straight away, but you'll get another flight straight in. But you've killed all your beneficials. And you've killed beneficials for other pests later on. And some of these beneficials don't have the life cycle of, a, of an aphid. You know, their, their life cycle might be only once or twice a year. And so, you know, economically, um, if you look at the long term, you're a long way worse off. For insects without natural predators, or where the ratio of pests to beneficials is high enough to affect yield, strategies include the application of pesticides to problem areas only, and the use of chemicals which target the problem pest without damaging the beneficial insects. We actually treat the seed for ear earwig infestation um, to give it a protection, but if there is a uh, a further problem and, and that may well only be in certain areas of the paddock which we we tend to know where they will, will be. We will make up a brew um, of, of wheat, a little bit of laws ban and a little bit of uh, vegetable oil and we'll go out and spread just on that area. So as um, the earwigs are attracted to that that bait rather than um, than all the other insects. Peter Enkelman's been using IPM for more than a decade. While his beneficials successfully control silverleaf whitefly, there are still a few pests without natural predators. The chemistry that we use here takes out the beneficial insects. So the attitude is to uh, delay spraying any product at all, basically, um, apart from very few uh, natural viruses. Uh, right through until the very last. And using IPM means when you do need to pull out the big guns, they're more likely to work. One of the big advantages is that uh, resistance to our traditional chemistry has just uh, dropped dramatically. But how do growers know when to take action? Well, thanks to research funded by GRDC, entomologists have data on the density of pests in each crop that will lead to economic damage. Growers measure the number of pests in their fields and only take action once they've reached this threshold. So the short-term gains is you might avoid unnecessary sprays. Another short-term gain is by not spraying when you didn't need to, you might avoid flaring another pest, which is more expensive to control. So that's another benefit. Longer term, if you avoid spraying unnecessarily, you'll build up beneficials in the whole system, and the system is much more stable. Fundamental to successful integrated pest management is the ability to correctly identify pest and beneficial species and to regularly monitor both populations. In row crops, we use a beet sheet. Uh, so we'll go and that we shake the plants for a metre of row and that shakes all the, the insects there, or a lot of them out, onto the beet sheet and you can count them. With IPM leading to lower costs and better environmental outcomes, GRDC views it as an important step forward. Apart from funding IPM research, GRDC also provides information and training for growers. We have run a series of workshops, um, IPM workshops, 
Um, we also work with the grower groups so that uh, grower groups can skill up their grower members on, on the use of IPM. And it's well worth getting up to speed. I find the system of IPM very easy because it's, it, it's, it's not an almost do nothing, but you just don't worry about it anywhere near as much. With IPM's effectiveness in controlling insects while reducing costs, both financial and environmental, it's here to stay. Um, IPM for us has cut down our chemical usage or insecticide usage by a long way and you feel better for not using them.